What's up guys? Daniel Campidelli Hedrick here and welcome back to the channel. Now, um today we're going to be um looking at some Kimba stuff and stuff like that. So, um yeah, let's go to Google. <laughs> and you can see I was looking at this. But no, we're going to be looking at Kimba the White Lion, <laughs> which is the uh, original one. So yeah, that's how I got the idea to make the new series, Kimba the New Lion. What in the world? Okay. Sorry, guys. Something, there's a little problem with my, my, with my phone. So, um, this is the, um, original Kimba the White Lion. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have a cold. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the original Kimba the White Lion. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you some more pictures. And here's the DVD that I got. It's called Kimba the White Lion, the Complete Series. What's Complete Series, you ask? It's all the episodes that people have ever made. Okay. So, um, here's Kim, there's Kimba, the which is the white lion, and Kitty, which is the one that has, um, the brown ears. <clears throat> and you see that baboon right there? That what, that's Daniel Baboon, the one I was talking about. And Polly, you see, is that bird right there. I don't know, I think he's a macaw or something. And Bucky's the antelope. So, yep. Those are all of Kimba's main main friends. You know, like the main characters and stuff. So yeah, that's Kimba's main friends and stuff. So, um, let's... <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to show the experiences of Kimba the White Lion. So, usually, it's about this. No, I'm trying to make a video here. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, guys. Um, Kimba is usually like this anime series and stuff like that. And it was made in 1965. So, it's now Kimba's 52nd anniversary on the show and stuff. So yeah, then I thought it was a great series, so I thought of making more episodes out of my series. So just so you know about Kimba, the new line that I made, I don't really own it. I'm just, um, I'm just making a new series for Tezuka. So anyway, wait, where was I? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have a cold. <laughs> So, it's usually this anime series where Kimba follows the footsteps of his late father named Caesar. Who's Caesar, you ask? Um, he's usually a lion, which was Kimba's father, but he got shot by the hunters. He, he lost his life for Kimba and stuff. Which was so nice of him. And um, when Kimba um, was... And then when Caesar's mom was on the boat, Kimba was born and stuff. So yeah. His mother says that he has to leave the ship and go back to Africa. So yeah. Now Kimba has to follow the footsteps of his late father. Dang it. I hate when that happens. So, um... So, we know how lions are predators, right? Well, Kimba is not one of them. He wants to be friends with everyone that he meets in the jungle. Like, try to help them instead of um, hurt them and stuff. 
so yeah, hopefully that's something Caesar done too. Oh, and um, the name of Kimba might sound familiar to Simba because um, the Lion King doesn't really own their series. It's kind of a ripoff, but it's still pretty cool though. I just don't like how they stole um, Tezuka's idea. And who's Tezuka, you ask? Well, let's look up Tezuka. <clears throat> so, here's, um, this, you see, is Osamu Tezuka, which is the creator of Kimba the White Lion. Also, he's a Japanese person. And... Tezuka died in 1989, and that's when The Lion King was made. So, to let you guys know, um, the creator of The Lion King was waiting for Tezuka to die. And then they um, made the movie without even asking Tezuka permission. Which is such a rip-off and stuff. But still, it's, it's pretty cool as well. Just like what they did. I mean, The Lion King would have been more cooler if um, they haven't stole his idea. So yeah, that man right there, he is the creator of Kimba the White Lion. He's also made other series like Princess Knights, which is the other series that I'm making. Except I call it The Great Return of Princess Knight. And just so you know, is no, I'm not stealing his idea. I'm just making another series for him and stuff. Like, like, um, like I'm just keeping going on the episodes. So, let's search up Daniel Hedrick. Which is the new creator of Kimba. So, yeah, so Tezuka died, so um, the new creator is Daniel Hedrick, which is me. So, yeah, so to let you guys know I'm not stealing this idea, I'm just making a new series. So, yeah, I don't really own Kimba, but I thought, why not let the series go to waste and make more episodes so, on my series, I'm like, um, it's gonna be like, um, like new adventures and stuff, like, like Daniel Baboon was getting tired of him wasting his life in Africa saving all the animals, so Daniel Baboon decided to give Kimba a little time off in Summer Lane, then Kimba meets new friends that you might know of, like, Mario, Luigi, Toads, Yoshi, all sorts of stuff. And I'm hoping to um, make a video of um, Kimba versus Simba. So yeah, that's going to be when Kimba meets um, Simba. So um, on the episode, Simba was like jealous because Kimba was getting more popular and stuff. But Kimba forgives him for what he did the last few years and stuff. So yeah, usually what my series is about is um, a new version of Kimba. So yeah, instead of Kimba the White Lion, he comes back as Kimba the New Lion. But don't worry, guys. Um, he's still white. He, um, I just um, changed the title because I didn't want to fully copy Tezuka's idea. I'm only copying because I want to make a new series for him and stuff like that. So, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, um, subscribe to my channel.